Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to go over editing or edit mode uh, in Blender. This is a pretty uh, important uh, topic or uh, section in Blender so you, sh you should probably pay attention. Alright, uh, one thing uh, before we start don't forget you know go to form.nistic.com if you have any uh, questions or you need help or you just want to show off your stuff and also uh, you can go to nistic.com to uh, watch all the tutorials in higher quality and download the blend files and and such um, one thing at the end of the tutorial a uh, very important uh, announcement uh, kind of thing going on or just uh, getting some feedback uh, so please stick around to the end of the tutorial uh, and get some information about that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on our tutorial. Let's go down to Blender, uh, pop it open, and we have our default cube in the center of the screen. Now, in the other tutorials, we added objects, we uh, moved things around, uh, but we didn't focus on the individual objects. So right now, uh, the cube is selected. Um, if it's not, hit the right mouse button and it'll be selected. Now, to get into this edit mode, there's two ways to do it. One, there you can go down here to where it says object mode, and this little box right here. You can click on that and hit edit mode, and that's how we can get into edit mode. Also, I'll change this back to object mode, you can hit tab, which is the easier way. Um, and you can toggle between uh, object mode, uh, which is that right there, and edit mode right here. Alright, so that's how you get into it. Now, from there, uh, let's we have to kind of learn uh, three little vocab uh, things here. So, there's uh, three different things here um, that we're seeing. We're seeing uh, a vertex, uh, this, little, it's this little point. Uh, you can see them by this tiny, tiny little squares on around here. There's edges, which is just this little uh, line or edge of the cube and then there's a face uh, which is uh, usually about four uh, vertices right here uh, that connect together to make a solid uh, surface or a face of an object so vertices edge face now I'm gonna go down here uh, right now it's kinda transparent you can kinda halfway see through it there's a little option down here that we can uh, turn that off uh, so we can see the solid faces here and the edges and the vertices. Now, when you get into more advanced uh, Blender things, uh, this the edit mode becomes very, very uh, important because you edit the objects. You, you can start out with a simple cube, uh, but you can edit it and edit it edit uh, in mo uh, edit mode and move around all these vertices and you can turn it into a tree tank, a building, whatever you want to make. It starts out with um, just using edit mode and editing one of the basic objects. Now, uh, right now, you can see this is all orange. This means everything is selected. You can hit A to deselect everything. See how this becomes a normal card cube. A to select everything again. So we're going to hit A and deselect everything. Now, we can right click on one of these little black points here and you can see it comes becomes highlighted uh, with this orange area. That means it's selected. And we hit the G key like we did uh, with our objects and we can actually move this point up, down, left, right, and space. And I can left click and hit Control Z to kind of undo that. And so we can go around here and we can, you know, move our little points around. Now, moving each point is not going to necessarily necessarily be helpful so we can uh, do multiple points so I can hold down shift left click and I'm holding down two points hit the G key move it up down left right we can also hold keep on holding now that shift key uh, right click and they'll be gone and see how this one selected shift uh, right click both of them are selected we can select as many as we want um, and edit that particular uh, section of the mesh. 
Now, we can also go down here to these other options, like Edge Select. Um, this is Vertex Select Mode. This is Edge Select Mode. And this is Face Select Mode. So we can select just this little edge right here. Hold on Shift. Select another edge. Hit G. And you can see how that moves around. I'll also hit Face Select and just click that around that middle point right there and we can move a whole face. Now we can go back to, into vertex mode and you can see the uh, it continues over the whole entire face selected so these four vertices that connect um, are also selected. And we can do more than just hit the G key and move stuff around. Um, but like before we can hit the R key to rotate that. It's a little crazy. I hit Control Z to undo that, and that's with the R to rotate. And we can hit the S key to make it bigger or smaller. Uh, we can do a little rotate with R, and so we can edit that around. Um, so that's just the real basics of how to uh, edit um, vertices and edges and uh, faces um, into uh, making stuff. Um, which we'll get into uh, later, how to actually edit that stuff. But that's just the basics of using uh, those three different things to edit an object. Um, so let's just play around with it here. I selected two vertices, hit G, kind of move it down a little bit, and then select two vertices here. And you can also hit Z, X, or Y to move it on along a specific axis and this is good to uh, kind of make it a little bit uh, more specific where you want to move this stuff and so it doesn't look when you render it kind of like inaccurate and that's thrown there it's like if you move it along the axes uh, it looks really really good and so last thing to do in this tutorial make sure the camera uh, can see it I just went to view camera uh, I'll go back into object mode by hitting tab and render and you can see um, with uh, moving all the vertices all over the place it kind of still connects it and uh, you can see kind of a weird looking object here but we'll in other tutorials we'll go, get into actually uh, making stuff alright so that's it for this tutorial uh, before we go uh, like I said um, we have the form um, here, I'll get to that later. Uh, some really great stuff on here. Um, for example, someone made an uh, ATAT from uh, Star Star Wars, uh, uh, Zazu uh, from the Lion King. These are some of our better renders and better modelers on the forum. Not saying uh, anyone's bad, but these are just some of the cool stuff on here. Um, someone going through making a little uh, space gun here and people uh, complimenting him and giving him feedback and we also have some contests this is a cannon somebody made um, for our Civil War contest so um, you guys should really uh, head over to the forum and check that out try some of our contests, uh, post your work and uh, let everyone see it alright, um, also uh, today I created a little topic that I want all of you to go to uh, the link is in the forum description um, basically um, titles regarding Super 3 Boy Blender tutorials Basically, I want to get your opinion on kind of where I'm going with the tutorials and more specifically the subjects of the tutorial. So, um, stop by the forum. Uh, here are the options. Uh, I've put some wild PHP tutorials up. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen all of them, uh, but if you haven't, you should check them out. Or if you don't like them, uh, intermix with all the Blender tutorials, let me know. Um, that's the first option. Uh, second option is, oh, I love the Blender tutorials. Anything you come out with uh, is fine. And uh, kind of neutral on the subject. Um, do you think the Blender 2.5 uh, remake tutorials are uh, kind of fine? Do uh, you think uh, I really need to uh, make some more game engine tutorials? I've only made uh, one with the moving the cube around. And so you think, oh, whoa, whoa, I really want to continue that. You should make uh, more game engine tutorials or that specific series. Uh, you don't really watch the tutorials uh, anymore. 
and you're into more advanced stuff um, and I don't really have that uh, to offer uh, at the moment so you're going elsewhere for tutorials uh, so it doesn't matter to me or um, I don't care I don't watch your tutorials anymore really because I'm in more advanced stuff but I really want to make uh, you to make some really advanced tutorials and really cool stuff that really has a, um, had a tutorial uh, made on yet and also I'm gonna put another uh, answer I forgot this uh, just you need to make more tutorials uh, more often uh, in general and that'd be fine with me alright so don't forget to check out that topic also um, if you guys have any tutorial requests put put it here um, I've gotten some requests uh, over the years and so it'd be great to just have them all in one place and I'll look at all of them and if I can't make the tutorial um, and it's an original subject uh, or such or something that's kinda has some outdated tutorials I will make sure all of them get done if it's not me uh, one of the forum users uh, will help up with that so please post uh, your tutorial requests and maybe uh, you might have a super three boy uh, tutorial that you suggested and I do it so uh, don't forget to post your request there again uh, this is on for, um, form.nistic.com link in the video description uh, that you can get to alright this is super three boy signing out and I hope you learned a little bit about uh, edit mode um, and if you're coming from 2.49 uh, not much has changed uh, just some buttons are in a different place alright guys uh, I will see you guys later bye